Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute little origami gift card envelope that is so easy to make. You'll wanna make a whole bunch of them to have ready to go to give gift cards. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna slide this ribbon off. And it's a self-closing envelope. And inside, it'll fit a gift card, and this is just a car wash card that I have, and then a little note card. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with a piece of six inch by six inch designer series paper, and this is the beautiful Garden Impressions. It comes in six by six pieces of paper. I love the bold colors in this. There is a way to create this completely with folding, but I found that a few of these score lines are a little bit easier using the Simply Scored. Okay, now if you have directional paper, there's a certain way that you'll wanna put this. So this paper you see here, this is from the Tea Room Specialty. This is directional, and you wanna make sure that your paper actually goes in this direction, if that makes sense, because this is gonna end up being the top of our envelope, this side, and when you fold it down, you wanna make sure that your paper is in the right direction. I hope that makes sense. So now, with the Simply Scored, we're gonna just make three score lines here. The first one is at one and seven eighths inches, then four and one eighth inches, and five and a quarter. Now I did forget to mention that the pattern that you'd like to be on the outside of your gift card envelope, you want that to be facing up. All right, now I'm gonna fold and burnish on those score lines. Okay, so you have your narrowest section here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see those score lines, but that should be at the bottom. You're gonna fold up on that bottom section, then fold up again. Okay, so you're folding and then folding it onto itself again, following those score lines that we created. Next, we're gonna take this edge here and fold it at the diagonal to meet up with this edge here. So we're just creating a little triangle here on the corner. And each time I fold, I'm gonna use my bone folder to burnish. We'll do the same thing to this corner. So again, taking this edge and lining it up to this top edge. So I'm gonna hold that up close to the camera to make sure that makes sense. So we're taking this edge to meet it up with this top edge here. So we have both of those corners folded in. Next, I'm going to fold right there where that triangle is. We're gonna fold this in, making sure to line up this score line all the way, as well as this edge to make sure that that's straight. We'll do the same thing on the other side using this corner as a guide. Okay. And then you'll see that we've got the score line here. So what we're gonna do now is to take this edge and fold at a triangle to meet up with this score line here. So I'm going to turn it sideways here. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. And you'll see that these are actually gonna meet up to a point here. And then the last thing we're gonna do is then you can just tuck this in and there's your envelope. So I'm gonna go over that again one more time. There's the great origami gift card envelope. So let me do that a little bit slower again. All right, so we had our three horizontal score lines. So we folded up from the bottom on that narrow one, folded again on the second one. Then we folded our corners inwards. Then we folded right there where those triangles meet up, using that as a guide, folding this in, this side in, then we did this triangle and this triangle, okay? And that is the basics of our envelope. We just tuck that in. How cool is that? Now what I love about this is it is so easy to do and it is great to make a stash to have on hand. So this is that beautiful Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. It's a little bit lighter weight, 
very easy to make, but these are would be ready to go to add gift cards to, and they store flat, so it's another really great idea. So let's do a little bit of stamping. Now this is the little gift card enclosure. This is Melon Mambo, and it measures two and one eighth inches by three and five eighths, and then the Whisper White measures two inches by three and a half inches. I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. We're going to use the Abstract Impression stamp set, which coordinates with the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. All right, and first I'm gonna stamp in So Saffron, a little flower in the corner of this Whisper White. Then with a the more detailed piece of that flower, we're gonna stamp this in Mango Melody. And then using Knight of Navy, we're gonna stamp the thank you sentiment. Super quick and easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and take some liquid glue and adhere that to my Melon Mambo. All right, so there's a little gift card enclosure with space to write. We'll slide that into the gift card envelope with a pretend gift card here. Go ahead and fold this back up. Ready to go. Now let's go ahead and tie a beautiful ribbon around this. This is the Whisper White Polka Dot Tool Ribbon and it's so easy to work with. So I'm just gonna tie a bow around this. And there we go, a quick and easy gift card envelope made from a six inch by six inch piece of beautiful designer series paper. I love how quick and easy this project is. Great for making multiples and having a stash on hand. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I use today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project details and measurements. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my newsletter as well as my daily blog updates, and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in earning a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, I'd love to have you join my team of Paper Pixies. And you can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.